Hi, everybody. Okay, so one of my viewers, Terry, asked me if I could show her how to um, cut out an image that doesn't have a die. So what I wanted to show you, and I have not done this in a while, so bear with me if it goes a little long here, um, is this stamp from Blue Night Rubber Stamps. So Blue Night Rubber Stamps, um, makes great red rubber stamps, um, but they do not have dies um, because so many people now have the scan and cut machine, um, the silhouette, things like that. So I do have a silhouette cameo too. And so I want to show you how I would, if you don't want to fussy cut, die cut these images out. So um, this is the image we're going to use. This came out of the release last month, which is called the Cowgirl and Cowboy. Okay, so first thing I have done is on the Cameo, you can print out um, in, the, in the settings, you can click the button that says uh, registration marks. So I just took a piece of Nina Solar White 80 pound cardstock and I printed that, I ran it through my printer and I printed the registration marks. So that's what these guys are. And that allows the um, silhouette to read when it's going to cut the images out. So, um, now I'm just going to stamp a bunch of the images out. I decided to do this old school and get the little rocker block out. Um, I will say that I did not buy anything from HSN. Um, there was a couple of things I was tempted, but I did not purchase anything. So yay me. I will also let you guys know that the parrots are now gone. I was able to get a friend of a friend to take them who already had a gray parrot and another uh, large macaw parrot, a green ring, green winged um, scarlet macaw parrot. So very similar to the ones we had. So uh, the parrots are now in another home, which was a little sad for my mom, but I think they will be um, well taken care of. All right, so when stamping these images out, you wanna stay in this middle area. You do not wanna cross over your registration marks. Look how nice that came out. There's something on my little cowgirl here. Looks like there's a piece of dust on there. Let me clean these up. Oh, somebody else asked me, what am I cleaning my stamps with? That was Lynn. Lynn, what I do is I take the Hero Arts Ultra Clean. Um, hold on, I'll show you what it looks like. Okay. So it comes in this um, big bottle. Uh, this is an eight ounce bottle. And then what I do is I just put it in a spray bottle and I, I water mine down. Um, one, this is really good stuff, um, but it's got a little bit of, um, I wouldn't say it's oily, but definitely a cleaner. It almost smells like Windex, but it's a little thicker than Windex. So I water mine down. I put it in a spray bottle. The spray bottle hangs off the desk with some water. And then that's what I use to spray on my stamps. And I just use a microfiber towel. And yes, I know it looks gross, but you can go through several, several uses with the microfiber towel. There's no lint. So you don't see me using baby wipes anymore. The ink doesn't transfer over. And then I just throw it in the washer. And yeah, it's stained, but right next to me makes it very easy 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 cleanup now if I do have stubborn ink on my stamps that I can't get off um, then I use the um, scrubby either from the Stampin' Up sponge scrubby which I also have on the desk next to me in a little case here um, that works great for scrubbing off or I use the little close to my heart scrubby brush this little guy here just take it up to the sink and scrub the um, stencil or the stamp, whatever you need to get cleaned. Okay, so let's try this again. And I do kind of want to space these out a little bit. And again, I don't want to go past the line down here. And I don't want to cross over the line here. So we have this invisible border that we do not want to um, cross over. And of course, you know, I could have gotten out my Tim Holtz tool or my Misty and did it, but 
I haven't used these blocks in a while. Sometimes you just want to do things a little differently. I think I can squeeze one more in here. Yeah. And I'm just using my VersaFine Claire Nocturne because it is nice and black. Great for these solid silhouette images. Okay. All right, now the next step is to get this into the computer. So there's two ways you can do it. You can take a picture with your phone and upload it. Uh, I usually like email it to myself to upload it, just depending on what kind of system you're using. Um, or the other thing you can do is scan it in um, using a scanner. I prefer using the scanner method, um, and I'll tell you why, because it scans in the registration marks. Um, they're just, I believe, easier to use. Um, the other way, like I said, is to take a picture with your phone, but if you don't have the right lighting, if you don't have the right angle, it doesn't pick up the picture as well. So I'm going to pause the video. I... I'm going to go over to my computer and scan this in, and hopefully I'll be able to show you guys how we move forward with this. I am doing this impromptu on my phone. Like I said, I haven't done this in a while, so bear with me. We are going to go over to the computer, and I am going to scan this into the computer. Be right back. Okay, guys, so I'm back, and what I did was I placed my stamped image in my scanner, and then I went up here to file went down to scan and then this box came up which is my printer I hit start scan and you can see it scanned the images that I um, stamped onto the window here now you can see that the registration marks are slightly off so what I want to do is move that image around until those registration marks are exactly perfect um, in all of the areas that they they need to be now what we're gonna do is the trace and cut method so over here where the little butterfly is that's the trace panel select trace area um, now at this point because I don't know how it's gonna work out I don't want to trace all of my images so I'm just going to grab this one in the corner So that's going to be kind of our guinea pig. And we want to outline trace that. And then down at the bottom here, we want to do trace outer edge. What happened? Oops, messed up. Let's try that again. Select trace area, trace outer edge. Okay, we should be okay. Maybe I can't see it because it's, oops. Maybe, maybe I can't see it because it's all stamped in black. Okay, let me figure this out. I don't wanna have you guys watch me fumble through it. So I am going to again, pause the video and I'll be right back. Okay, so apparently I was doing it right. So again, we're gonna hit the little butterfly, select trace area. I am going to trace around this area here and you can adjust your box size to make sure everything's in there. My only concern is it is trying to grab a little bit inside of that uh, pixel, the pix mat right there, um, the registration marks, I mean. So um, I don't know if that's going to work or not. Okay, and then down at the bottom here, I have trace outer edge. So supposedly it's traced, even though the yellow box goes away. So the what I found out was as soon as I hit send up here to send to the cutting, um, it's all in red, so that shows me where it's going to trace. So I'm going to now take my image out of the scanner it's here I to get it out. Okay, and I'm going to just stick it on my mat so I see how that matches. And then... The mat says arrow side up. You know what? I need to put it on a regular mat because I don't think it's going to read. I don't think it's going to read the pixel mat. So I'm just going to put it on a regular cutting mat. Just 
going to use my Cricut mat here. I'm trying to do this one handed. Ignore the mess. All right. Um, how does this go? Okay. So it goes all the way into the left corner. Now what I probably should have done is put a little border around the cutting area because if it's off and it's too close and it hasn't been um, calibrated, it's not going to cut right. But let's give it a go and see how well I did here. I'm just going to hit send. Cross your fingers, guys. Registration mark sensor area. Okay, it could not read the registration mark. Okay, I'm going to have to fix this. Try loading that again. Well, that's good. It's trying to read the registration mark. I appreciate that. Let's try that again. Click to retry automatically click register. Okay. Nope. You know why? Because I am not using the silhouette mat. I'm using the Cricut mat and it's too big. So back to my cut up silhouette mat. This thing has been abused. It has seen better days, which is why I went to the cricket mats. Okay, I have to put you guys down. I'll be right back. Okay, guys. Um, I still couldn't re get it to read the registration mark, so what I had to do was to manually override it. So what I did was I picked a different image just in case it was where the image was placed. So I picked this image and deleted that image. And then down at the bottom here, it said to manually set registration marks, um, put the arrows over the square, which is this square here on the paper. So what I did was when I loaded it into the machine, um, these little arrows came up and I just kept moving them back and forth, up and down until it was on top of that little square there. So now it is trying to read everything. So what it does is it's scanning the registration marks and hopefully now it will cut this image out for us. So the cool thing is I can save this file and then once it's saved, I will have blank SVG files or just a cut file for this stamped image so I can put a piece of pa blank paper then in my silhouette without it being stamped out and just cut out a whole bunch of blank ones and then stamp them when I'm ready. So let's see if this works. I got my fingers crossed. I'm sorry how long this video is. Like I said, I haven't done this in a while. And hopefully it's cutting in the right place. And I just wanted it to cut the outer image. Oh, it's a little too far over to the left. So we might have to recalibrate it. Oh, and my paper is moving because this mat isn't sticky anymore. Okay. Fail, fail, fail. We got to do this again. I got to stop this. <laughs> okay, guys. Take uh, 100 here. All right. So I've placed my paper back on my sticky Cricut mat which hopefully it shouldn't come off because this is a sticky, sticky mat. All right, so I want to show you what we're going to do here. We are not going to do this guy now because he's all half cut up, so we're actually going to go back to the design store, and we're going to slide the image over, and we're going to hit delete on that. So I just deleted it. Now I'm going to slide the image back over, and I want to line everything up pretty perfectly here with the registration marks. I know you guys may not be able to see it, but I think I got it right there. Slightly up. Okay, I think we're good right there. All right, so I wanted to show you uh, again how I am doing this. Hopefully I don't get my finger in way of the camera. Here we go. Okay, 
Take number 365. All right, select the trace area. We are going to select this trace area again. Okay, solid fill is just that everything that's filled in in yellow is what it's going to trace around, which I'm fine with. Trace the outer edge. And of course, once it's calibrated correctly, you could trace everything, but I don't wanna take the chance. I already lost one. But like I said, once we have this trace area in there, we'll be able to save this and print out as many images we want on blank paper, which I'll show you in a second. So we're gonna do trace outer edge. You could probably even do trace and detach and then you'll be able to see it better, but I'm okay with what's going on right now. Um, how did I do the lines? Now I have to remember that. Anyway, I clicked send and so you can see where it's red. Um, I'm trying to remember how we make well, we don't need all of this. Um, how we do the border around it. I think that's in the design. Sorry, guys. I'm not a professional at this. Ah! Let me go back here a second. I'm just going to hit my undo button. Okay. Um, is it scale? No. There is a way of giving it a border. I just... Cannot remember what it is right now. All right, we're just gonna go back to what we were doing here. All right, so we're gonna cancel the previous job because it was not working. Now we are going to send this new job. Okay, Cameo is on. Send. It's going to say it doesn't read the registration marks again. Of course not. Why would it be easy? All right, so now the registration error just came up on the machine. So on here, you're going to click manual, and then it tells you to position the arrows over the box. So we're gonna go back to the machine. We're gonna type unload. Load it back in. And you wanna make sure you have plenty of light on your machine. Then you're gonna click this guy here and you're going to move the arrows by tapping them. We're tapping the other way. What are we doing here? Okay, there we go. So it's very incremental, but we want the blade over the box. Let's see the box. Now we're gonna move our blade over. And I'm just doing very incremental, trying to get it in the middle there. Okay, so now our blade is directly over the box. So now we are going to tell the machine to register it. And it should manually register it. So what it's gonna do is it's going to now scan all those registration marks and then it will cut the image out. So instead of having you guys wait the 10 minutes for it to cut, I will pause you and you'll be back in a second. Okay guys, I did get it to cut, but I don't know if you can see the cut lines there are just slightly off. It does need to be calibrated. So since I'm pretty happy with that, I don't wanna take it off the mat yet. I did find where to change the settings. So I am now um, tracing the other three images that are here. So select trace area. Um, we're gonna do solid fill, which is what it was. And then you can do trace and detach, trace outer edge, it really doesn't matter. But if you go to um, panels and then hit offset, um, what we can do is, what you normally should be able to do is 
on those images, I guess we have to trace them again. Oops. Oh, come on. I messed up the alignment. Okay. Why is this not working? Hold on. Okay. Sorry, guys. My mom started to ask me a question. All right. So um, I lined everything back up. It's trying to offset this over here, which we don't want. So we are going to go back to offset. It's trying to offset what we already traced over here. Um, you know what? I wonder... Yeah, we're going to delete that one, and we're going to delete this one. So what we have to do is reselect the area. So object. This is becoming a longer video than I want it to, to be because it's really not that hard to do. I promise. I just don't do it very often because... Um, I don't normally cut my stuff out, honestly. I'm just lazy. Okay, let's try this again. Panels, offset. See, I think I have to reselect. Okay, so now all I did was I just pulled my paper, my scanned image off of there. So now it's taken the traced images off. So we have to retrace them, reline it up. It's really not that hard. I don't know why I'm making it harder than it needs to be. It used to be a button right on the screen here where you could do the offset. I don't know why it's not there now. I hope I'm not making you guys seasick with all this. Um, all right, I'm just going to, at this point, cut these images out, and then I'll show you how to do it on blank paper so you don't have to worry about it. So let me finish cutting these out, then we'll put a blank piece of paper in there, and I'll show you how you can cut these images out once you have them referenced in. Okay, guys, so I got it working. It's cutting out my stamped images now, but what I wanted to show you is while I'm waiting it for it to finish cutting the stamped images, I made my template for it to cut out blank images. So here are all the traced files. I filled as many as I could on an eight and a half and 11 sheet of paper. I'm now going to save the file to my library. I'm going to um, name it with the name of the stamp is, so Blue Knight Rubber Stamps Cowboy. Okay, so I'm going to name it. I'm going to save it. Oops, let's spell it correctly. Okay. Oh, I hope I know my password. All right, so then now it'll be saved into my saved files. And then whenever I want to um, cut this image out again, I don't need to stamp it out. It's already been stamped. It's been traced. It's been saved. So I can literally just put in a blank piece of paper into the Cameo now, bring this up and cut it out. And then what it will do is it'll print a whole bunch of blank ones of these and then I can just proceed to put those in my Misty and stamp them out. So I promise this is the last time I'm going to pause the video. When we come back, I will show you the cutout stamped images and the cutout blank images. I'll be right back. Okay, as promised, last time I was going to pause the video. All right, so while you guys were gone, um, these are the original stamped images that I cut out. So just to show you, there is a small white border. You can see it's not 
completely lined up. Not terrible. I mean, it's not like I can't use these. I will still use these, certainly. But what I wanted to show you is now that the file is saved and I cut a whole bunch out on this other piece of Nina Solar White. Let me get my little spatula out. That I now have all of these blanks, right? So I just have to very gently pull them off of here. And just to show you what I mean here, so now these are cut through. This is a very um, good quality thick cardstock, so it does take a couple passes to get it to cut through. All right, so there we have the cowboy. Let's get the cowgirl. Of course, our little dog. Come on. No, it didn't. There we go. It didn't cut all the way through that last layer of paper there. Okay, good enough. All right, so now what I've done is I've cut out. You guys have seen me do this before with other um, stamping templates is I've cut out where I removed these guys from, right? So these guys are in here. I cut them out. I'm going to save this. And now I'm going to re-put in my blanks. And there's some of that uh, Ranger sticky grid underneath so they will hold them in place. And I lined up my stamp. So what I did before is I lined up my paper, put the sticky grid under there. I put the stamp in and wiggled it around until it puzzle pieced itself in. So the stamp is should be sitting right over the images. I did not practice stamp it, but it should be. Now we're just going to puzzle piece our little blanks in, which are the ones we just cut out. Okay, so now they are stuck in there with the sticky grid. And here is the moment of truth. Let's see how they are going to stamp out. So again, we're gonna ink up with our black ink. So the first time is the hardest. It is nice because it does cut out the images that are already stamped, but once you have it saved in your computer, once you've scanned it in and saved it, you don't have to do that again. Now you can just cut your blanks stamp them correctly so even you can see there it's not as black as I would like it to be no problem let's go back in and ink it again but now I have these blanks on file and what I normally do is keep them in with the stamp set and I'll keep my little my little template jig in with the stamp set too okay that looks pretty darn good. Ooh, there's something on her head, but I'm not going to worry about it right now. Um, so I'm just going to go with my tweezers. Gently pull them out. And now we have our blanks stamped. So I just want to set that aside to dry. And it's perfectly stamped. I don't have to worry about any of that um, being cut the wrong size or the wrong way there. That looks pretty darn good. And you can just stamp them out when you need them, or you can stamp out a whole bunch. I didn't get his the horse's head very well there. There we go. Um, so you can, yeah, you can, let's say you're going to go on some kind of a retreat on vacation, and you want to stamp out a whole bunch and have them ready, and you want them all pre-die cut. You can do that, or you can just put them in with the stamp set and stamp them later. Whatever you want to do. So there we go. I know this video was long. I know it was full of mistakes. I hope you guys liked it. If you have any questions or comments, don't be afraid to post them down below. I do read and answer all of you guys' questions and comments. And there you can see our stamped and cut images using the Silhouette Cameo 2 
and making a template. And this is for any stamps that you have that you maybe don't have the dies for. There's no dies um, for them. So thanks again for watching, guys. Again, I apologize for the video being for so long, but I hope to help some of you guys out using the Cameo too. If you have any questions about using the Cameo, please, I do recommend checking out um, Silhouette School. She does great videos, a great blog. I learn a lot of things from her. And if you can get the Pixel, the PixMat to work, I could never get it to work. But if you can get it to work, more power to you. And of course, if you have the Brother Scan and Cut, that is the easiest one. But honestly, guys, I'm not going to go out and spend another $300 when I have a machine and I can, you know, make my own way around to get it. It. So I hope this helps you guys out. Thanks for watching and keep on stamping. Bye-bye.